Here we are in Sherman, Connecticut at the Mallory Trail and today we're going to see some New England stone wall construction. This is the entrance to the trail. Actually, this is a <clears throat> entrance that was created. Uh, the area is maintained by Naromi Trust, Naromi Land Trust in uh, Sherman, Connecticut. And it is sponsored by the Iroquois Pipelines Land Enhancement and Acquisition Fund. And today we're going to see a New England stone wall site. Now, Robert M. Thorson, who is a geologist who moved to this area of Connecticut from Alaska in 1984, who is a geologist is more or less a self-proclaimed expert on stone walls um, his book stone by stone is a book that um, explains things about uh, stone wall construction in New England however I think that most of the book concentrates on geology, whereas I'm sure that Mr. Thorson is a competent geologist. I'm not sure how much of uh, an archaeologist or a historian he is. It seems to me that a lot of his um, a lot of his knowledge on the building of the stone walls is really based on mostly assumption and not a lot of documentation. But that's my own personal opinion. But anyway, I lived here in the woods for three months and I studied this area extensively. Now, I'm not sure who did the construction of the stone walls. It's in some circles of researches. It's a matter of conjecture. Um, some people think that it was built by the Indians. Some people think that it was built by even more ancient people. There's some conjecture about who to attribute the stone wall building to. Now this part of the trail is a swampy area that I believe was caused by runoff from damming the nearby brook there's actually three areas two that I know for sure were dams and when they created Candlewood Lake in 1920s in the mid 1920s they dynamited the dams to allow the water to run into the lake as much water as possible the lake was created for a hydroelectric plant downstream during the summertime, this is a beautiful area, the swampy area, and I could see that there's water running through here. This is one of the runoff areas that I believe fed the farm area over here. <coughs> this boardwalk here um, is made out of wood. And it seems the most practical because there's an abundance of wood around here. I don't completely agree with Mr. Thorson's contention, but anybody who wants to see what uh, other researchers think about it, you can certainly check out Secret of the Stones, which I think is an excellent documentary. Um, some researchers uh, created that. Um, video which you can see on YouTube it's an excellent documentary and in that documentary they sort of question who might have made these stone walls this is actually the first one along the main area here this stone wall <clears throat> and uh, the rocks in this wall are rather large I, I tried creating some stone walls myself and I it's rather a matter of trial and error to get it to the correct height with the correct kind of stones. You have to have 
lots of stones available to you to try and keep on creating a wall this is actually that bre that is actually a breach in a wall that's not an entryway but there are entryways along these stone walls over here and you can see that they're clearly entryways there's this giant stone over here that looks like it's turned on its side I mean obviously the layers of rock I'm not a trained geologist I'm not a trained archaeologist and I'm not a historian I'm just interested in this topic and that's why I chose to be here <clears throat> over this past summer so I can investigate it myself certainly along with Secret of the Stones Check out uh, Mysterious Ch Stone Chambers of New England by Jim Biera, the giant guy. And also uh, Hugh Newman with Megalithomania. He also has some excellent insights onto these um, stone wall construction. Um, there may be megaliths here, I'm not sure, but you you judge for yourself i'm going to show you all the different things around here there's many interesting things to see you know try to get as much in here as i can it's sort of late in the day and darkness falls pretty quickly at this time of year we'll go along this part of the path you can see this is a place where there's a large stone here and a stone wall continues along here this almost looks like an effigy wall to me only because there's a stone looks to me like a stone head now you know I'm not arguing the point I don't know who created these walls whether it was the settlers the Indians the Adena the you know uh, Indians who were associated with this area but I find very interesting this is very labor intensive work this is very rough area to traverse whether you're on foot or using work animals these stone walls here seem old but relatively maintained where other areas they see even more maintained and then beyond this into the preserve that way there's stone walls but they're not very well preserved um, in there I saw wild turkeys with their young and the young all flew into the trees but take a look at some more of this stuff the more interesting stuff I think is elsewhere I'm trying to the trail goes up here <coughs> just follow the arrows here but I see this hmm there it is right there Most of these giant boulders around here seem like they're upended, not laying flat, laying on their side. This one over here certainly looks like it's upended. not a lot to see through here although these stone wall areas seem rather small to me maybe an acre or two tops I don't know by the size of them it doesn't really seem like you keep any sort of livestock in here and because the areas are so small they don't seem like property lines or property borders this here I think is an entranceway right here most of these entranceways have 
very large stones at the front along the line of the stone walls this one you can see continues down that way this one seems not very well maintained it actually goes through an area where it's really off the trail this too also continues on the other side and so the stones seem smaller here in some areas they're they're huge <clears throat> very labor intensive work i was a bodybuilder at one time and i attempted to make a small stone wall myself while i at my campsite while i was here and it was not an easy thing to do a lot of it was trial and error trying to get the right stones to fit you had to have a lot of stone available to you Here's another entryway. You can see this is like an entry point. And you can see the topography of the land here. It's not level. Okay. This is not a southern exposure here. It's about, I don't know, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And this is where the sun is shining down on. So north is that way south is that way so that would be your southern exposure over there really good for growing etc but these areas over here seem to be behind hills and again this is an opening to one of these rock wall areas usually at the end of the wall where the opening is you really find these big huge stones at the opening area but even some of the stones in the wall like look at this one here's my shoe this this stone is gigantic <clears throat> it's gonna take three or four guys that stone right there probably weighs like 300 pounds this area the trail here which I find kind of interesting just like as you can see over there it seems like there's like a mound area let me flip the camera like this there we go that seems like there's a mound area over there I mean it could be just rocks or boulders but it seems like a mound area there again you can see a lot of these big rocks are sort of upended not laying flat this one here is but there's big boulders within these areas and you can see by the topography of the land it's not very flat over here i don't know why this is a small area that's cordoned in by these stone walls maybe two acres three acres you can see the stone wall construction over here take a look You know, some of these stones in here are, even the small ones, are real heavy. And some of them are, some of the big ones aren't even at the bottom. A lot of them are in the middle or sometimes on the top. Again, you be the judge. I'm not saying who built what. Or why these areas are the way they are. I don't know. judge for yourself along this area of the trail it's very hard to see the trail with all the leaves now but you can follow the arrows you see the arrow on the tree and come down over here now to preserve goes on this way but there's no trail over there to the left over here is private property and the stream here the brook here makes a left a sharp left 90 degree take a little bit better look at that this is an artificial opening in a wall created for the trail for the benefit of the trail you can see all the rocks scattered over here in the summer and spring you can see even more just rest of the leaves
But let's take a look over here. This brook, which I see, has got all, some water going through it now. But in the summertime, it was absolutely bone dry. Bone dry. There's a big area over there that's almost clear and flat. That's all part of the land um, that's handled by the trust, the Romy Trust. And if anything, that area over there is relatively flat and even. These areas where you find the stone walls are very hilly, very rocky. It's, it's actually hard to hike around here. There's a lot of stones sticking out of the ground. There's tree branches and slippery leaves. This is not a good area to work in, um, in my opinion, anyway. But let's go along over here. There's stone walls across on the other side, too, on other people's private property there. Well, let's keep going down here, because there's some interesting things to see. You know, along the trail over here, it looks to me like there's some lumps and, you know, mound areas, it looks like to me. I don't know whether they're artificial mounds or just big boulders under there. Can't be sure. Nobody's done any excavations over here. Here we are along the brook. Very nice. I love being here in the spring and summer. It was absolutely beautiful. You notice along the sides over here, there's a lot of rocks at the bottom here. Along the sides, and there's a lot of rocks in the brook itself. But here you see sort of a funny thing happening. You can see, you can see the rock wall goes along and then it dips heavily along this side and then there's sort of a, you can see it's almost like that corner is stocked, like the wall goes down along the side of the brook. Let's take a closer look. And we get to the other side. I'm kind of wondering why they made the wall to go down into this corner and then sort of line the brook over here maybe they didn't want this corner to wash out I don't know but that looks like difficult work there on that cliff to try to get I mean some of those stones are just absolutely gigantic up at a, at a place where it looks really difficult to work placing these giant rocks and then you have this man-made thing down here you can see some flat rocks in the bottom now I don't know why this was put here maybe so that this elbow in the brook here you know didn't wouldn't wash out maybe that's what they were looking to do but I don't know it, it's hard to say what's unusual is that you see a lot of these a lot of the sides of the brook here like if you continue along here it almost looks like the wall was built right down, or a wall was continued from that point, right down along the sides of the brook here, which I find very interesting. But there's even more dramatic places along the brook where you could see some lining. Here you can see right down over here where you can see stone wall is like lining the brook. 
It sort of like came down, went along the side of the brook here, and then it continues up there, um, going south. I don't know if I'm going to have up along that end of the brook with the area that it just came from. If you make on that hard right angle over there and you go down a ways, there's an old dam <coughs> made out of like red brick and mortar, very tiny stone or red brick or some kind of brick. And it's all got cement mortar in it and it's blown in half. And I think that they blew out these dams. They may have been here. For the farmers to try to you know keep water for their farming reasons and i think when they put it in candlewood lake in the mid-20s they dynamited these dams but you know by the looks of it there was several dams along here and i'll show you the other one again very interesting stuff but along this side i mean it almost looks like a lot of the brook was lined with stone and I'm not sure who would do this some of these stones are just gigantic these ones over here are absolutely gigantic and there's a section down a little bit further that looks to me like some sort of dam but a much older one not with mortar or anything like that See if I can get through here without killing myself. This area I found very interesting. This is either bedrock, something along those lines. It's very interesting in the summertime. These stones over here <clears throat> almost have like divisions, even divisions in them. I don't know. You judge for yourself, I'm not sure. But you can clearly see along the brook in other areas where the brook was lined with stone, man-made walls. Gonna go up over here. <coughs> Trail continues up here. And a lot of these big boulders here seem upended. I don't know what happened. Earthquake, explosion. But right here, you can see this guy here. And We'll continue down over here. See the little arrow. <coughs> Another thing that's interesting is that every so many feet you'll find these white stones on the wall. There's one of them. And then you go down a little bit more. There's another white stone on that section of the wall over there. Okay. Go a little bit further. There's another white stone. This one looks like maybe marble. Another white stone. Well, it seems like at regular intervals there's these white stones along this perimeter here. Trail sort of snakes through here. Here's another one of these white stones or light stones right there <coughs> I 
it seems like every so many feet here you can see the wall holds up you have one of these light or white stones so many feet and another white stone you can see that elsewhere too Down here, it's some sort of causeway. There's two walls on either side, and this path that leads down here, you can see this side, I mean the rocks in this side just absolutely immense. But it's almost like there's a causeway here. On this side you have a wall, this side you have a wall. And they both seem very old, not very well maintained. Again, you can see the perimeter of the white stones. Every so many feet, there's like a white stone. We'll go to the end here because it's something very interesting to see over here. Now, down there is the entrance to the Mallory Trail from behind the Sherman Museum. And you can see the farm area over here. It's very flat, you know, very conducive to farming. Um, there was a pond here originally down here. And there's a, this like a small frog pond over here. And a wall seems to go right through that pond over there. So, I don't know, it seems kind of unusual to me that the, that the wall should go through the pond and continue on both sides. It might be a boundary marker, I don't know, you, you decide for yourself. But the trail goes around, goes totally around the pond and comes back up here. And then the first thing you see when you come up is this guy right here that I call the the face stone or the head stone it looks like a head with eyes I don't know whether that's done intentionally or what but in any case that's at the beginning of this causeway right here you can see the stone wall down there stone wall on this side so this is like a causeway that leads into this area over here and it's not flat it's it's hilly up and down and that leads to sort of convergence of walls over here and Sort of like a like a main area again sort of white stones placed at the top you know there's some in the middle but you notice now this causeway opens up to here and then the wall continues here makes a right this is not a natural entrance way through here. That was broken down. And if you come up here, I mean, some of these rocks are huge. Now look, there's a ravine down there. And you have this hill up here. <clears throat> this is not easy country to hike. It's not easy. I can imagine if you have animals working up here, it's not going to be easy for them either. 
And if you go back down that way, that takes you back out to the IGA parking lot where the other entrance to Mallory Trail is. Now here at the end of this causeway comes to this area here and here's an entranceway to this particular area over here. This one looks intentional. There's no rock here at the opening and there seems to be a path that leads through here. I know in the summer and springtime you can clearly see a path that leads up to that area over there and there's stones in that area over there. I'll take a walk over there. This is really off the trail, but they don't have a problem with you going off the trail. They just don't want you going onto private property. But this looked like when you see it in the summertime with all the growth and everything, it looks like there's a pathway that goes right up over here with these ferns here and then you get up over to this area and then there's some big rocks big boulders in this area and there's no evidence of structures but it seems like some other, some other big boulders down there with all the leaves too there was some stone circles that you could clearly see too so there you could see this area is not real easy to walk in a lot of this stuff is briar you see it's like this is like the center of this area over here beyond the entrance down there and then this is like a separate cordoned off area you can see some real big boulders over here well I don't see any rocks on top of these boulders over here but there's an interesting thing where you can see on other boulders and rocks in the adjacent areas where there's a lot of little rocks and larger rocks on top of these big boulders I don't know whether they were staging areas or what but I'm gonna do a second half to this and we'll take a look at some of those areas because that's really where <clears throat> some more interesting things can be seen in the adjacent areas to the Mallory Trail over here so we'll get that in the second half of this video